In our last video, we have uh, upgraded the battery pack of the TC with new battery cells. And quickly we discovered that we made a little mistake. Um, when I was driving the TC, it was beeping and the power was really reduced. And uh, when I connected my monitor to, uh, I noticed that the power values were reversed. So when I was uh, accelerating with the TC, the power values were negative. So the computer was thinking that the power was going through the battery instead of out of the battery. And when I was braking, the computer was thinking that the power was going out of the battery instead of in the battery. So um, quickly we noticed that the current sensor was uh, the wrong way around. And we had to remove the battery pack again to reverse the uh, current sensor. Good, welcome to uh, episode one, uh, how to solve your problems uh, with a battery uh, setup. Um, we figured out that we most likely um, installed the current sensor in the wrong direction. So therefore we have removed the battery again from the Twizy and tried to resolve it. Um, because the battery is now set up completely, uh, we first have to make it in a safe state. And because all of the chassis is the, the mess or, or the minus better said, um, we first will disconnect the minus from the whole battery package so that we are sure that we don't create a short when we're working on the other side uh, where the minus and the plus are close together to each other. So now I will disconnect uh, the minus and then we can uh, start correcting our little error. battery is disconnected so we should be able to work safely on it okay now we can go to the center so this is uh, using the right tools for the job so we don't have a smaller one so uh, we use this uh, insanely big uh, baco as we call it over here to disconnect it Okay, and then it's time to change the sensor. Okay. Now, how should it be positioned, Dylan? Uh, the other way around. Um, the other way around. So, so like we can turn it upside down because then we have more space because of the bar there. That's better. And we're turning it around, so it should be fine, isn't it? Like this. Okay. That should be fine, isn't it? Yeah. Just to be sure that we don't have to open it a third time again to fix this uh, same problem. That will be a bit of a pity. Give you a smaller one uh, for Christmas, uh, then. The Baco. Yeah, it's in. All right. Some zip ties. Be sure that it will not move. Get close the battery again. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So. Voila. 
Okay, we are starting this range test with uh, the new battery. It should give us at least 67 kilometers. We can take uh, the Twizy for a nice drive. It says we can drive uh, 70 kilometers. This is a little bit faster than last time. I have uh, updated the motor mapping. It uh, has uh, more acceleration. Because this is an uh, because this is a Twizy from 2012, uh, they forgot uh, to uh, put some protection on the mo uh, motor controller. So uh, we were able to uh, reprogram it uh, to a better configuration. Still 10% uh, and 8 kilometers left. Only the when we crossed the bridge, uh, the sign with empty battery came on. So, but I still feel uh, confident enough to drive over here. Okay. What is your estimation? And, uh, can we see the trip? Uh, yeah, you need to push the uh, right button. 60.9. Ah, oh, that's. Uh, we are. Uh, we have already past the distance of the old battery. So. That's good. Yeah, but now are we in uh, the area that we are not sure about uh, how much is left? Uh, is it's it still says nine. So. Yeah. If you uh, turn off the ignition, and yeah, uh, and then turn it on again. Yeah, so. well, 20 percent and 30 kilometers. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe uh, drive around. Uh, drive around Rosenburg. Yes, and then uh, we stop here again and okay. see how much we have left. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See how many routes we can make around. Uh, Good, 71.5 kilometers, 10% left, an empty battery sign is on. So, that is an improvement of what we uh, previously had. So, we'll make another, uh, not a full round because we don't think we will make it. We will make a uh, big round around town and then go in. Back 
Oké, okay. this is the end of our range test now. You see the battery sign is blinking, battery has no bars left. And 70.93 kilometers uh, we made today, so I think that is uh, very decent. That is an improvement above the uh, original battery. Maybe I was hoping for like uh, 90 kilometers to get there, but uh, close to 80 is uh, good. That means that you can drive 70 kilometers without any problem on this uh, battery. I'll turn off the ignition and see what it will recalculate. So, uh, This is off, turn it on again. Okay, then we get another one bar, still battery side with six kilometers. So I think it will be very hard to uh, fully deplete this uh, battery now. So that means that you still have some uh, spare over. But yeah, also if you have a uh, petrol car, then you want to fuel or refuel it on time and not empty the the full tank before we reach uh, the gas station of course so uh, i think this is really decent and i feel much more confident than uh, previously so, uh, yeah good achievement okay today we did a uh, range test with the 3z with the new battery pack and it was really an improvement over the old battery we uh, came uh, 79 kilometers far um, that's a lot better than our first test and it was not even really empty but uh, after like 70 kilometers uh, the computer will say the battery is empty and it will reduce the power um, yeah the power is reduced so it's less safe to drive because it's really hard to keep up with all the traffic but uh, you have really a big uh, reserve, so you can always go home. And uh, also what we notice is when it says it's empty and we turn off the ignition and we start it again, the battery uh, state of charge was being recalculated and then we had uh, more battery left to, uh, to drive. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it please like and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Oh.